Uh, I think what we have benefited is uh, the network of colleagues from different countries and then we had an, have had a very good opportunity to uh, benchmark with others what we are doing. Uh, the University of Cyprus have been benefited uh, as, uh, as, as its library is an open air node. Um, since we are the main actor of open science in Cyprus, we were um, uh, collaborating with uh, national bodies in the, for, in the creation of the national policy. Uh, we are participating in, uh, in uh, focus groups and ad hoc groups for open science in Cyprus and uh, in a European level. Uh, this created the national policy of Cyprus in 2016 and in 2022 the revision of the national policy uh, for open science in Cyprus. The benefit to participate in open air is the alliance that we have in Spain so we can um, so they support us to so we can support our national community and to facilitate our, our participation in the different um, Horizon Europe call, so we can be there and be the strategic partner. Um, and also we um, in the belong international community, so they can help to us to, to, to in the different guidelines and different projects that we have to be as national contact point. It has allowed me to really uh, uh, engage with a network of international partners. Uh, and currently my position within JISC is to collaborate the international work within JISC, so making sure all the different efforts within JISC are talking to one another. And that really has come about because of my engagement, first and foremost, with open air. So um, the University of Malta is the main institution, um, uh, educational institution on the, on the Maltese islands. Um, we are leading open science um, on the Maltese islands way back in 2014. We've set up our institutional um, repository. It was the first institutional repository um, in Malta, which serves also as a national repository. Um, immediately after that, we have also implemented um, an open access policy for our um, university. And all this was done basically with the support and um, expertise of um, Opener. Um, open science was relatively um, new to us and um, with, with the support of um, open air as well as with um, uh, networks that we've built immediately after um, joining open air. Obviously, um, these were extremely beneficial for us to ensure that um, the implementation of policies and infrastructures to support open science for the Maltese islands um, are to the maximum of uh, our um, academia and researchers in Malta. Uh, open Air is helping us uh, with our activities by giving our, us guidelines, materials and uh, uh, by just having someone to talk about certain things and to see how other countries did the same thing that we, we are trying to do. Okay, the University of uh, Minho is member of Open Air since the beginning, uh, so Basically, we work a lot around the support and training, but we also act as a national open access desk, trying to do the connection between the national open science initiatives, the, the national infrastructure on uh, scholarly communication and the open air, and then work in several projects on uh, support, uh, open science help desk and uh, open science and RDM training.